It's Monday morning. Hello, acquaintances. So, um, I've been getting just a tiny bit of backlash on my last, um, one of my last videos, the retie challenge video, and not on YouTube, but on um, Facebook, just a little bit, which is totally fine. I welcome your opinions and your thoughts, but I just wanted to clear some things up or just address some things, and yeah, let's get to it. I saw was that well um, the fact that I was growing my hair out for so long caused will cause thinning and I can say maybe if I was sister locked um, yeah it would cause thinning but I'm actually more like right in between so I don't have a danger zone and it for anybody who is new to lock community a danger zone is basically um, a certain amount of length that your hair will grow before it starts thinning out and breaking off and I don't have one so my locks are relatively really pretty thick they're actually not sister locks so I am not sister locked uh, I am more on the traditional side with the look of being sister locked I originally when I first uh, wanted to lock my hair. I wanted to have sister locks. That was the plan But as I just let my hair do what it wants and not really try to manipulate it at all It kind of just turned into this which is totally fine um, But yeah, so just to let you guys know I will not get thinning from growing my hair out for six months or even longer than that um, It actually benefits my hair it gets thicker, it gets stronger and healthier the more I leave it alone. So, yeah, I'm not sister locked. It's not going to thin my hair. The next thing that I saw was that it would cost too much money to retie. If you're not doing it on your own, yes, it would. <laughs> but I thought of this way ahead of time when I first, I have always maintained my hair. Like, I don't trust people with my hair. I've never had locks fall out, ever. Um, I have not relatively no thinning besides like the back of my hair. Um, and it's only like one lock that's thinning out and that's only because it's at the part where I shave my hair off and some of it just got cut off. So I might have to like um, shorten that one a little bit. <laughs> um, that's my friend Olivia, by the way. But yeah, um, other than that, like it hasn't fallen off. It's still growing really, really strong. Um, other than that, um, yeah, I've had no thinning, no breakage, nothing like that. I've only ever maintained my own hair. I think I went to a loctician maybe once. It was just to retie my hair, but then I wasn't, I didn't realize that if you wet your hair, it would all come undone. So I took a shower and wet my hair after that, and all of it just came undone. So I kind of don't count that experience because I didn't, um, the retie was completely undone after that. But yeah, so no, it doesn't cost me anything besides my time. <laughs> the next question that was pretty much the main question was just why? Why would you ever do this? Um, one personally for me I'm gonna I'm gonna state this again for me um, I like to let my hair grow out for like maximum like for me three months I just wanted to see if I can go for another three months but I always let my hair grow out for about three months um, because it's much better for my hair like my hair gets so much thicker and healthier when I leave it alone versus like retying it every month every month every month every month like, if I wanted to do it, like, if I'm going to an event or doing something and I want to retire real quick, I'll do it. Um, but I feel like, for me, it's kind of not healthy for me. 
I feel like that it just puts too much strain on my hair constantly being messed with. It's better when I just let it do what it naturally does on its own. And then on top of that, um, I actually kind of like the look of my locks being grown out. Usually I like it up to the third month, which is why I just let it stay until the third month. But as you can see, my hair is pretty grown already and my hair goes really fast. Um, I had just relocked my hair last week and it's already like this. Like last week or the week before last, I think. It was one of those two. Um, so yeah, I like the look because it makes my hair look fuller versus just being like straight flat because I'm very much used to having like a full look. Even when I was natural, I had very, very full hair, so I kind of like this look better, so yeah that is why I did this challenge was just to test myself you don't have to do it that's totally okay you don't have to do the challenge um, I think it was just more so a challenge for me and I think maybe that was like a misunderstanding um, but yeah this is just a challenge for me and the reason why is because I wanted to give myself a challenge okay okay um, another, I think the last thing that I had seen was that I said, I think somebody was, um, re what I said, and also restating what I said in the comments, um, and maybe I, I should have been more clear in the video, if you are able to, so I'll say it now, if you are able to, it's just for fun. Like, just seeing how long you can go. Because I've seen a lot of people with more traditional locks do these kind of things. Like, they'll just let their hair grow out for months on end. I've seen some, uh, quite a few people, not quite a few. That's, I'm over-exaggerating. But, like, I've seen a few people go, like, a year without, um, like, retying their hair. Some nine months, like, during her pregnancy. Like, I've seen it so many times. And, um their hair was so thick and luscious and so I thought that you know I'm not doing a year because eventually my hair will start to turn into one giant lock but I would love to see if I can do at least half a year so I thought that would be fun to do what I'm trying to restate was that if you are able to if you want to um, and you are on the more traditional side like you don't have a danger zone do not have a danger zone this would be a cool thing to try see how your ox react to it or if you want to you don't have to but you're more than welcome to do it if you are sister locked and you have a danger zone I don't re I do not recommend this I really don't especially especially if you are micro locked and there is a difference between sister lock and micro locks and a lot of people who are sister locks I think claim that they're micro locked when they're not and sometimes it's, it gets a little confusing um, but micro locks are like really really tiny I think there is a girl a YouTube channel who she has like legitimate micro locks and I think that's the best example of it so you can really see the difference between micro locks and sister locks but if you have either one of those I do not recommend this challenge so that's why I'm like restating this like it's just for somebody who doesn't have a danger zone and wants to try to challenge themselves to see if they can do it for fun um, but yeah so that's pretty much it I hope these kind of answer your questions so I hope this kind of clears everything up um, or maybe answers and maybe not maybe I'll still get more backlash but that's okay um, I'm more than welcome I like seeing your guys's opinions and your comments and maybe sometimes I don't uh, clarify things but that's okay um, so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope this cleared some things up and yeah I'll see you next Monday morning bye